And this is very important in reference to the crimes and dirty activities of government. Don't forget, I had injuries from government when I was little. Those documents have to be reopened and put on a website so everybody can see them whenever they want to look at the website. Uh, and don't forget, these people have stolen from me and blocked me from my mother and father's properties and mansions that my parents built. Do you understand that? These people tried to, are trying to steal my birth name and family name in their activities of them playing their charade or their confusion game with people. These people have to get charged for misleading people, too and falsifying and accusating against me. These are people that are watching me every day with satellites and they're making shit up. You understand that? Fabricating shit. I don't make any hand movements of any kind that simulate any drug usage. And they're watching me from satellite all the time. You understand that? And they've caused me injuries from satellite. I don't know what the hand gestures are for people that do drugs, but in reference to whatever somebody does when they're preparing drugs or when they're in the act of using drugs. I don't make those kind of movements. So that satellite man has to get prosecuted for his fucking lies. And it is attempts of murder. These people have to get charged for trying to steal sperm and eggs. Hermaphrodite eggs. And royal genetics. And royal sperm. Which... I was born as a royal, noble acknowledgments of location of where I was born too, in reference to royal property of my parents and grandparents. Basic information things and family history, right? Basic information. And uh, the activity of these government people sexually assaulting me when I had been injured from their government people or when I'd been shot at by these people, and the government belittling the activities of the dirty government, meaning like supposedly there's a good government in America somewhere, the fact that they were not paying attention or being as serious as they should against these people is pretty serious violations of government. And the fact of me having injuries and then medical people, they just zapped my hand, and medical people uh, sexually assaulting me. Medical people calling me some other race. Government people trying to call me some other race as their way of trying to rape me. As their way of trying to steal my genetics and family history of wealth and property. And the race and ethnicity and religion of my parents. Do you guys understand how serious this is? These people are full-fledged liars in their tricks. The activities of these people accusing against me, their activities of falsely making statements, falsely claiming there was supposed witnesses to the lies of what they made up. I'm not friends with those people. I've never been associated with those people. But then they claim they had witnesses that made up shit that are conspiring with the accusators. Then they claim that, uh, oh, they're, they're top secret uh, uh, informants or something. No, no, I've never been friends with them, never been to that place, never hung out at that place, never done nothing at that place. Whatever the hell you're trying to make shit up about to accuse me of crimes. You have to get prosecuted. Government man. And you know, in reference to these people, and medical people raping me, government people raping me and stalking me and terrorizing my life, them not paying me the lawsuit money so I can move to a better location, them not giving me, uh, them stealing information from my mother and father's properties that had tried to send me information. Do you understand this situation is very serious? And the race of these people, these people that are doing this, are the people that murdered my parents. That are blocking me from property that my parents owned that they gave to me. 
and it is supported that I am the owner of my mother and father's estates. It is documented in American history, and we need to see which people are contesting it so they can get prosecuted. They don't have a right contesting nothing. They're not the race of my parents. They're not the religion of my parents. They didn't pay monies that my parents paid or grandparents paid to build these locations and properties and businesses. These people are trying to extort from the companies and properties and businesses by slandering my character. These people have to get charged for their crimes. I'm the only child of my parents. These people tried to alter information to confuse people. That's tampering with information. That's misrepresenting information. That's altering copywritten documents. These government people have to get charged for injuring me and then not paying me. You know, I fell down at work. Over, you know, somebody had put a dolly on the on the loading dock and and then was hurrying me out of the the back of the trailer and. He left his dolly there, and I tripped over it. My shoulder still hurts from that day. They even have it supposedly on video or something when I fell. Fell face first. It was kind of like backed it, and right there tried to step over it. Couldn't step over the dolly, and then tumbled down and fell. You know. The insurance company tried to call me a faker. The doctor over there at uh, Concentra said he thought it would be fine. There's other people, other doctors that have x-rays in my arm and shoulder. This doctor, he, he said, okay, you're released for work, is what he tried to say. My arm still hurts the fucking, hurts bad, just like, you know, like it did. In some ways, you know. Still can't lift my arm up higher than this without it hurting. You know, can't lift it up like this. It still hurts like hell, like that. It hurts, hurts all up in the shoulders, up in here, and all the way down to like here. Like this is my elbow right here. It hurts here. You know that. Still can't lift more than like five or eight pounds between there. I can lift about five pounds, but it's a struggle, and eight pounds, you know. Mm. But they, these people didn't give me you no know, disability money, got injured on the job. They even got it recorded, supposedly, when I fell. They tried to call me a faker. They even got the x-rays and the MRI information. Satellite man hitting me in the face, fracturing my face, burning me every day on the job with microwaves them violating asthma protection laws, them violating... And these people are blocking me from money that my mother had in accounts for me. These people thought they can just call somebody crazy. They thought they'd just make up lies on a person. Like, they didn't think that that was criminal for them to make up lies to try to frame or to try to entrap somebody with their lies. Them trying to orchestrate their entrapment tricks. You understand that? Then these people trying to rape me, these people sexually assaulting me from their government offices and their activities of them accusating in every single way about anything and everything. I've called governors and mayors about this situation in other cities and states. I haven't received a letter from anybody. I've even wrote emails to some of them. I haven't received nothing. And all the emails that I wrote to the White House is on record. It was about them burning me from satellite, them trying to steal my mother and father's estates, people trying to steal my identity. That's what the emails was about. I even wrote like a friendly email, like, uh, you know, this is just a situation, I'm a real friendly person, but you know, these people are stalking me, terrorizing my life kind of thing, and uh, they haven't stopped burning me from satellite. So in reference to these people that accusated things about me, we need the identities of those people 
and they have to get subpoenaed into court for their false accusations. And their accusations are attempts of murder. And these people trying to gold dig. You know, when people try to gold dig, they steal sperm or they steal eggs from a person or they try to steal genetics to make babies. And then they try to murder off the person. How many times have you seen that on Alfred Hitchcock or The Twilight Zone or Perry Mason? That shit's on television all the time that that's the plot of what people have tried to do. Why is everybody acting naive and stupid or ignorant, claiming they don't know what these people was up to? I was born on the property of my mother and father and grandparents and basic information. None of those children that they tried to make or they stole sperm or genetics or tried to make children, none of those children was born on any of the properties. And they're not allowed to be. And they're not allowed to claim to be either. So all those children are illegitimate. They have no say-so in nothing. Of them slandering my character in any way, shape, or form. Satellite man's burning my crotch. They're burning my penis and balls right now. And underside. I'm not your child. I'm not in no relationship with you, government man. I'm not allowed to be in no relationship with none of you. You have to do background checks on your people. And any girl that I date, there has to be a background check on them. You know that, right? And, and I have to date a girl for a certain period of time before there's ever any idea of a female getting pregnant. You know. Certain time fer period of me dating a girl. And these people blocking me from my mother and father's mansions, why do they think they had any... Uh, say so of any kind. I got kidnapped from my mother and father's mansions. We need all the information for what they said in reference to why they ever approached my mother and father's mansions. Need that information. You know, need all the detailed information of what led up to these people making their false accusations to do these things. These people have been stealing from me for a long time. These bad government people need to get charged for their crimes. Time's a-wasting. Time is money, too. It still is a hostage situation. The satellite man's still burning me. They've tortured me and tried to murder me on every job. How many jobs did they try to rape me on? How many hotels did they try to knock me out and they tried to rape me? And so many hotels. When I was working in the hotel industry... For a service company that, you know, you know, banquets or kitchen or, you know, just a variety of different positions. How many hotels did they try to rape me at? Need all that on record, too. How many times? How many days? What's the name of the people? Where'd they come from? What ethnicity and race were they? All has to be on the website. And if their names are on the hate club list. People that's done things to me. People that stole from my parents. People that tried to manipulate. People slandering my intellect. People slandering my identity. They're misleading people. That is a fucking crime of government. And law enforcement to mislead people. With their accusations. Where's the lawsuit money in reference to law enforcement and police brutality? Haven't received a penny. And dirty cops trying to rape me. People conspiring with dirty cops that tried to rape me. People that lied under oath saying they didn't have ties to the CIA or the FBI or law enforcement when my mother had these people in court. They lied under oath saying they weren't part of the CIA, but then come to find out their family had been in the CIA or the FBI or dirty law enforcement or task force agents or offices for a long time. They lied under the court system of America. Those people have to be retried in court. Because most of them probably aren't in prison from what they did. 
those people need to get prosecuted for what they've done to me. They lost in court to my mother. But some of those people are probably some of the same people that teamed up with their uh, cavalry of criminals. You know, their people, their organization got larger of criminals in America. These political German Nazis and their party mixes of people. Or the black Germans or the Middle Eastern Germans. That's be court cases. And the government, I, I've never been paid the amount of money I was supposed to make hourly at any job that I worked at. My mother was subsidizing money on my paychecks, but the government was stealing it. They were skimming off the checks or something. Never received it. Then this government man said he thought he'd make a decision claiming he thought I was a low-class person while he was stealing my money. Him and his people were stealing my money. Calling me a lower class person and they were stealing my money. Those people have to get prosecuted. Need it on record in reference to factual detailed evidence and credentials and history of accomplishments to see what class these government people think that I am and where I came from and what my accomplishments are. And it needs to be on record. See, the class that I come from is like the 1% of the 1% of super wealth. Now, where do these people come from that slandered my character? And you know, everybody will say the same shit. But my parents wasn't the government. My parents did not set the wages of the country. So if you tried to make up shit about wages and people being rich or people being wealthy, investing their money on Wall Street because you didn't know how to do it or you don't know what's going on in the world of finances or whatever and yet you tried to blame rich and famous people because you didn't make investments or because you thought that people getting wealthy you thought you you thought it was criminal because you only thought politicians was rich or wealthy in America Business people, a lot of business people are richer than politicians. And these people trying to challenge finances or wealth or credentials, they have to be subpoenaed into court. They have to get subpoenaed into court. And there's probably hundreds of people, or even thousands of these people, that are trying to steal that are a certain race or a certain religion or a certain organization. And those people need to be ordered into court. There's like an army of criminals that are trying to steal everything. These people are like telemarketer scams that are trying to steal everything from me. And those people need to get ordered into court. I haven't received any letters from my fan club either. These people are stealing the postal mail. I haven't received any letters from any other celebrities fan club if they tried to send me anything, so any of the celebrities that tried to send a letter in the mail or something, the government stole the fan mail because, you know, a lot of celebrities there are celebrities that are uh, fans of other celebrity clubs, you know, fan clubs, and sometimes they receive letters from different fan clubs. Well, these government people have stolen every one of them from any of the fan clubs of other celebrities that tried to send me a letter in the postal mail. Those people have to get prosecuted for crimes of postal mail fraud, extortion, whatever they're doing, and manipulations. Roll protocols in the media of my identity 24 hours a day. Did uh, anybody ask these uh, government people or politicians who they think I am and who they think my parents are? You got to get it on record, news networks. And uh, the libraries in America need to have it on record, too. Because it's got to go in the databases of the uh, libraries that are in America. Public libraries, private libraries of information. Public, of course. Just saying it has to be dispersed to universities, too. The information about what's been going on, the timeline. 
I'm the owner of my mother and father's estates and companies forever. Never signed, never, never gave, never, never sold, never, not ever going to, not never. That's the facts forever.